If you're a caregiver and your loved one is starting to have accidents with incontinence, it could mean a world of challenges and fear. Fear that you may not be able to continue to take care of your loved one or that you may have no alternative but to place him or her in a nursing home or assisted living facility. But does it have to end up that way? In fact, as more and more caregivers are discovering, dealing with your loved one's incontinence is much more manageable than you may think. In this video, we'll show you how easy it can be to help manage and control your loved one's incontinence problems. What do you mean, kind of? Even before your loved one begins to show evidence of incontinence, it's important for you to become acquainted with his or her daily toileting pattern. Just follow me. Um, is it time to go to the bathroom? Yes, sir. Yeah, you think so? Okay, come on. You may already be acquainted with the signals that he or she may have to go, but it's also a good idea to establish a routine of cues or prompts to visit the bathroom at certain times during the day. It's a good first step to prevent accidents. Well, there it is. You certainly want your loved one to remain independent for as long as possible. So make it easy for him or her with clear signage and night lights for those visits to the bathroom, day or night. Put your zipper up. As your loved one's condition advances, it's good to be nearby to help with adjusting clothes or a thorough cleanup. For this reason, it's good to stock up on and keep two important supplies at hand. These are medical gloves and wipes. Medical gloves come in latex and non-latex versions, and wipes of all kinds can be found at your local drugstore. If, despite all your efforts, your loved one begins to have more frequent accidents, you may want to check with his or her doctor. Sometimes food or medications may be to blame, and a prescription is all it takes to help clear up urinary or bowel incontinence. The doctor may also advise your loved one to limit fluid intake during the day or just before going to bed. If incontinence is now a fact of life, consider the clothing your loved one wears. Does it make going to the bathroom easier or more difficult? Remember, the easier it is for your loved one to use the toilet, the better chances he or she has to remain independent and the easier it is for you to help. Still. Accidents will happen, and you'll want to be prepared. With the proper incontinence supplies, and by remaining supportive and keeping a good attitude, you'll help ease your loved one's frustration and embarrassment. Specialized incontinence supplies, such as these briefs, are made to take care of leakage and odor. These are easily put on while dressing or at the toilet, and can be easily disposed. For extra protection at night, a fitted rubber sheet can be placed on the bed under the usual fitted sheet. This rubber sheet can later be washed as needed. A bed pad, also called an under pad or chuck, on the mattress provides an added benefit for your loved one. Placed on the sheet so he or she can lie directly on it, the bed pad will absorb any moisture that the nighttime brief cannot contain. You just remove and dispose of the bed pad if it's moist. These same type of pads can also be used on your loved one's favorite places to sit and relax. If your loved one's skin gets irritated from incontinence, there are products out there that can help. Check first with your loved one's doctor, who may recommend products like Triderma, which will protect and heal raw skin. So there you are. You can help your loved one avoid the embarrassment and discomfort of incontinence. All it takes is proper care, monitoring, and a bit of planning. Remember to know your loved one's toileting patterns and establish regular cues. Put up signage and keep the house well lit at night. Stock up on incontinent supplies. Buy clothing that is easy to put on and take off. Talk to a doctor when increased frequency and or skin irritation occurs. And just be available when your loved one needs help. By keeping these simple things in mind, you and your loved one can continue to live full and dignified lives.